got, we got one more. Are these good so far? Raise people. your hand if you disagree with us. I'm curious. Anything. All right, we got a few. All right. Well, we have one more panel here. This one's a little more fun. We're basically, Scott wrote this one in its entirety, and we're going to tell you how to win at the internet. Well, I have it. This is, you know, the, the, first, two, the first two things we presented to you are more of the, the theory level, right? This is, what I'm about to show you is a hypothesis I have, and I want you to help me, you know, prove whether this hypothesis is, should be elevated to the level of theory or whether it should be thrown out. You know, we're going to do real science that's not really real. Yeah, we don't have enough because proof for this one yet. We're not academics, but, um, you know, we'll see how this goes. So yeah, dude bro. Dude bro. Dude bro. What is dude bro? Well, before we talk about dude bro, everyone knows this, right? The greater internet fuckwad theory. It's, this is definitely theory level. Definitely. Yeah, I've never seen any sort of falsifiability legitimately proved to me. This is Counter-Strike in a nutshell. You take a normal person, you take away their identity, you give them an audience, and fuckwad. Chica. I love that picture of him yelling at I love, that. I love the guy with the tongue hanging out. It's awesome, right? But anyway, I have, I have my hypothesis is sort of a, an addendum to this. It's Scott's hypothesis, right? Let me, let me see if you like my hypothesis or not. Shitcock, <laughs> right, plus creativity equals winning the internet. <laughs> so how could, we, how could shitcock be an ingredient in winning the internet, right? Like, how could you possibly, you know, take that guy... You know, who, who is going, eh, shit cock, you all suck, and playing Heroes of New Earth all day, right? <laughs> How could that guy help the internet become better and awesome and make all the good stuff we like about internets and world and communities and everything else, right? Well, let's, let's look at this story. Who here knows the story of Dude Bro? Oh, it's good. Oh, wow. It's good. All okay. Right. Here's the story of Dude Bro. There is an internet forum called NeoGAF. It is an internet forum. I think it's PHPBB-ish. It might be VBulletin. It's one of those. Now, internet forums in general prove John Gra Gabriel's greater internet fuckwad theory oh, to a Gaff high is, degree. NeoGAF is internet fuckwad theory to, like, like exhibit A, right? You have, you know, a lot of game players, but also game developers are on this forum. It's a very large community of people discussing video games primarily, right? It's incredibly popular. It's very active. Uh, you know, and if you're a gamer, you might enjoy going to NeoGAF. But anyway, one day in the NeoGAF forums, somebody decided to make a thread about this game. Imagine babies fashion. This guy, his name is Kuyahoga, at least that's his internet name. And he said, he just innocently tried to start a thread about Imagine Babies Fashion. Dude, because I like this game. It's pretty cool. Does anyone else play it? Yeah. He was completely... He liked this game. It's a game where you dress up babies in different clothes. I see I no... Was, there is no evidence at all that he was trolling. As far as I can tell, he legit likes this game. I've never played it. It could be good. It could be bad. I have no idea. I could understand how someone might like dress up. I mean, like, you know, even, you know, most games, it's like, uh, say, City of Heroes, right? It's dress up when you're making your characters. It's just the characters have new babies. <laughs> I guess that they're going to be a beauty pageant, so it's just kind of screwed up. But... but anyway, he legitimately liked this game, and he posted uh, a thread as, you know, to, uh, as such. Now, as you know, on the internet, if someone said that they like a game like this, people might respond. <laughs> so, so on a forum such as NeoGAF, right, the response was, of course, you pedophile, you moran, this game is poop, why do you like this game? Oh, you suck, you suck, pedophile, oh my god, you like babbies, you want to do them, blah, blah, blah. Now, internet flame war, well on its way to Hitler, and like all flame wars go. <laughs> So, so Kuyahoga was not that experienced in the internet, you couldn't tell. <laughs> so, so he fed them trolls. He fed them trolls big time. He fed a big old steak. Man, he, come on, I love this game. What is wrong with you? I'm not a he's pedophile. Like, he's like, just because he's got babies, don't, you know, I mean, he's like, you played the exact same game only, right? And then, somewhere deep down in that thread, Kuyahoga posted a gem. These are immortal words that have changed the internet forever. Are you ready for this? So, I'm a pedophile because I don't want to play Dude Bro. My shit is fucked up, so I got to shoot slash slice you too. It's straight up dog time. <laughs> now, you, you, you see what he was getting at here? He's like, look, all, you guys play all these violent murdering games, right? 
right? We were slaying people and shooting and slicing and dude broing, right? Dog timing. You know, you guys are screwed up. I'm dressing up babies. I'm a good guy. <laughs> You're a mass murderer. That was, you see what he was getting at. Now, what's happened here? Up until this point, this thread was like every other thread that was a flame war. It's approaching the event horizon from which it cannot return, where it is just one of those flame threads that gets, like, sunken and buried and everyone forgets about it. But so, what happened after this? You remember my hypothesis? Shit cop. We've seen the shit cop. Oh, there's a lot of shit cop here. But it was plus creativity. So as soon as this post was made, there was a creative explosion. <laughs> That we shall now explore. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Are you bro enough dude to rescue the president? Are you? You realize what we're doing here? We're playing the woo game with you. We are, in fact, controlling your minds. Bro low or bromance? <laughs> bromance. Bromance it is. That's everyone's favorite. That is a good one. <laughs> so See, what happened here? here? There, was, there was huge shit cockery of the first order, right? The most epic internet flame war. But somehow, one of the posts, instead of responding with more hate and more curse words, they responded with work, right? They made jokes, they made funny JPEGs, which is like the lowest level, right? But actually, they're making a real goddamn game. <laughs> So, Flame War didn't result in just people being angry and making the internet a worse place. It resulted in video games being made. It resulted in videos, there's trailers, there is... Go search for Dude Bro on YouTube, it's a fun time. <laughs> you know, you can go find... If you search for Dude Bro on Google, you'll find, like, the original thread where all this stuff is posted. And it is off the hook, as you can tell. This is like a best of, a very small best of, like top ten, not even ten. Um, and somehow that wins the internet, right? Does that not? So next time there's a flame war, right? Don't respond with like, oh, you suck, pedophile. Respond with, oh my god, pedophiles do bro some JPEG. I don't know. I don't think the words pedophiles and then some JPEG are the proper response. That's why I use Photoshop. Someone else has to do it. Anyway. Right? So, so one example does not a hypothesis or theory make, right? So I, ha I have some other examples of this phenomenon for you. Oh, the slide's messed up. Oh, What's so that square? I don't know. It's you, Frog. Anyway, it's your uh, panel. Sure. Uh, open source software, right? If any, you know, I'm, a, I'm a tech person, right? I'm a tech so person. I get involved in a lot of open source communities. And what generally happens is they'll argue, like, we should use this algorithm for this. No, no, we have to use this algorithm. We should remove the X buttons from the top of the windows. No, we should have two X buttons at the top of the windows, right? And they'll argue about this stuff on newsletters and IRC day and day and day. Oh, my God, it's horrible, right? And what eventually happens, one of the two guys, or maybe even a third guy, comes along and actually writes the code and submits a patch, right? The guy who actually wrote the code won. It doesn't matter if, even if the other guy was winning the argument, right? Whoever actually does the work, who creates something, who writes software, ends up winning. Kind of like how making, posting that first dude bro picture ended that flame war and turned it into something awesome. Right. I mean, even at work, if I'm having an argument with a coworker, the moment I do some work that pushes it in my direction, that's it. The decision's over because no one's going to do the work I just did. They're just going to follow on what I, they're going to follow my path and that's the end of it. Yep. Uh, game modding, right? A lot of people will argue, for example, Counter-Strike, if you were around in 1999 or 2000, people were like, AWP, ban it, it's no good, and other people were like, AWP, so awesome. So what do we do? Some servers just actually change the code, you know, use a mod or something, block the gun. Perfectly valid, not technically Counter-Strike anymore, but they have actually fixed the problem at a fundamental level, rather than just arguing about it forever. 
Yeah, some guy, you know, maybe he goes onto a forum and posts an idea. Hey, I have this an idea for a, a mode of play called Gun Game, right? And, you know, people might be saying, that's a stupid idea. That's a good idea. Well, some guy actually made Gun Game, and now it's really popular. If you try to just play it without actually making a mod, what'll happen is, all right, hey, we're playing Knives Only. Someone else joins the server. He doesn't care about my Knife Only game. He's coming in with a shotgun. You know, I'm often that guy. Yeah. Uh, creativity also works as sort of a circuit breaker in communities like 4chan and FARC, where normally flames and Godwin's law would just bring the whole sites down to their knees within seconds, right? But they have this release valve. They have funny JPEGs of squirrels, nuts, and My Little Pony, right? They release some of the steam that's going on in these places, allowing the communities to continue going on despite the fact that they're nothing but flame wars, right? No, even go so one step further. So flames are asbestos on the, on the lava. Look at 4chan and FARC, and even something awful, places like this. A lot of the memes and the kind of social currency that we all, you know, replicate, the, you know, we hear like, but scotch on, it comes back out. All these jokes... It's, this is kind of like the high culture of the internet, like the high fashion, the really impractical dresses that you couldn't wear down the street, that kind of, those are like the precursors to the fashion that you see in Target a year later. A lot of internet jokes and things come out of these places. They're like the primordial ooze of the internet. You don't want to go in there, <laughs> but you enjoy the things that come out of it. And I would argue there's a lot of shitcocking going on in there, <laughs> and a lot of creativity, and we win as long as we don't go in there. <laughs> I'm sure everyone here has watched South Park and or The Simpsons, right? And often these shows and other shows like them cover, you know, very hot political issues. Things that normally, if you saw, any, you know, uh, one of those stupid emails that's not true or, you know, some, even some news on TV, there'll be flame wars on real TV, this crazy flame wars, right? And people just cursing at each other and yelling and screaming and it's, it's ridiculous and out of hand. But somehow, when South Park or The Simpsons managed to present, you know, an opinion or a view on those exact same issues, right, it's, they do it in a way that somehow everyone's agreeing with it. Why? Because they're doing it with art. They're not just doing it with straight up words or direct talking. Or right? straight up dog time. <laughs> You know, they're using images and audio and their creativity to go along with their message, and that allow it's sort of like a, a it's sort of like a Trojan horse, right? It's like funny cartoon, haha! -ha, I snuck my political opinion in your brain, and now you didn't have a flame war with me because it snuck through and it passed the flame war gland. Yeah. <laughs> right? And Penny Arcade, of course, you've all read it, does a lot of the same things that South Park and The Simpsons do. Uh, sometimes not successfully, but you know they're not as professional. They know that. <laughs> oh snap! Uh, whatever. And let us be here. <laughs> Horses love me. What are you talking about? Um, I love them too. <laughs> All right. So the moral of our story is again: when there's a flame war, right, and you're about to post in that thread, stop. Don't post. Instead, oh. whip out the impact font. And Photoshop. At the very least, right? Don't grab your keyboard. Grab the Photoshop. Grab the garage band. Maybe make a song. Make a video. Make something. Even if it's a five-minute something, right? I wish I had it. I, I, I lost the audio file a long time ago in the Mega TF forums, which was the precursor, precursor to Team Fortress 2. Oh, what a great example. There was this dude named Moog. I was in clans back in the day, and, you know, that whole, like, old world of Mega Team Fortress. And this dude got mad at the community. He made this like two hour rant with a microphone like and posted rant. it on the internet back when it took like three days to encode an MP3. <laughs> so he posts this thing. An hour later, before anyone could respond, before the gigantic flame war would have started, some other dude, to this day I don't know who it was, posted an edit. It was like a minute long that he had pieced together from words the guy used. And I don't think anyone even listened to the original array. <laughs> there were eight people. God, do I remember? The everybody was gaga. There are things that are hurting this community more so now that everybody is in everybody's wife. Fucking everybody in everybody's room. Fucking back door. Fucking, fucking fish, fish tank. tank. Deep in other people. So I goes to investigate. And there's eight people. <coughs> God, you should see this shit. Eight. Talking about disease. We don't need it. I'm sorry I memorized that. <laughs> but can you imagine if you were in, like, I don't know, the deviant art community, and someone who was in the center of all the drama posted a two hour rant calling out everybody they hated? What would happen to diffuse it so elegantly and so simply? 
with something so stupid? There is power here. We are on the verge of an untapped resource. So avoid the keyboard, reach for the Photoshop, reach for the garage band, the audio editor, the video editor, make some, you know, the, the code, do some sort of creative thing to combat whatever sort of flame war is going on. And I guarantee that will be a 20 times more powerful weapon than just typing into the text box in the forum. And uh, we will leave you with the secret. What is it, dude, bro? <laughs> Nothing but a miserable little pile of straight up dog time. <laughs>